way you want me to cook a poke? Right. Like you zoom in or just? Uh, where do you want me to, uh, to uh, probe? Yeah, just get it right on the kind of the surface, right of the, not yeah. in, not, don't, we don't have to excavate, just kind of right at the surface there. Okay. I'm gonna zoom in there. Yep, go Take ahead and zoom video. Okay, I'm on the Hercui. Where is the temperature on there? So you see all, this, all these sensors? Yeah. Uh, the most top right one. Okay, yeah, so right now it's at three degrees. And yeah, this sh shimmering over just slightly over here, Danny, how how hot is that? It's all around three. Three point two. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Is this the palm worms you're talking about? Yeah. Nice. Do you want me to go down a little more? Maybe? Yeah, maybe or if you can reposition and get the get the nozzle right here. I don't know if you can do that. If you rotate, you might have to see that. Yep, I'm working on it. A little better. Yeah. Is that right here? Yeah, right there. Yeah. What does that say? Oh, it's going up about three point nine. Four degrees. Four. Give it a little yeah. penetration. Yeah, that's ten that's, degrees. That's ten degrees there. Still rising. How thick do you think these uh, this crust is? The crust? I mean, you can poke in there and see. <laughs> I don't know. Not very much. Not very deep. So yeah, once you've done that, it's climbing 16. Sixteen degrees. It's not bad at all. Seventeen. Okay, so I think this is sounds like a viable spot. It just depends on if the cable can reach. Yeah, so let's go okay. closer to the bars. Okay. And then with the probe go go see Come if we find anything video. good there. Come on, wide. Hold on, let me get out of here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Racking back. Are we going to oh, We need another uh, temp probe, or we... We'll need the temp probe again eventually, I guess. I'll just store it for now. Okay. Fabio, this is really cool life, yeah. huh? On this one little rock. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Let's see what Steve commented there. Should bit so give you a better view? Yeah, here. I think he likes it. Oh, other way. Poke it in the fauna. Which we did. We did. In the end. So, uh, if we if we want to sample that flange that we saw just to the right, uh -huh. that will be the next one that we will. If we can do that one, I come on now. No, I'm not on now. Let's get on the bolt there. Right. There we yeah, go. Looks like it's on there. Yeah. Nice. As Dan liked to say, magnum speed. <laughs> Flange pool. I think we saw it. We'll have to. I don't can't. Okay, don't know. Stowed. There we go. Apparently, it might not be as fragile as we think. So okay. that could be a pretty good spot. Oh. Up above it. Above it. Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna be. Uh, oh, hey. Tough to. Hey. Is that a good view for bubble for you? It's maybe a floating sample. I don't want to.
It's definitely fragile. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Put your toe on it. I yeah, can. we can we can move the boat on the way down. And just set the toe on it, and the flange fell off. Oh. Oh, uh, I just, I tried, like, just slightly resting up against it, and the thing started to crumble to pieces. What are we, uh, sorry, what are we doing here? I was out of the loop for a minute. We're just, Never mind. what we're trying to do is the um, RAS BPS. We're just scouting out some potential spots, so we don't have to look for it once the RAS is actually on site. Oh, right, yeah. So we found a good one, but we're finding alternatives in case the um, cable can't reach. So yeah, we're just taking right. temperature probes of at the fauna level to oh, make sure sweet. the shimmering is not too hot. Right. I checked out for a minute and I was geeking with Pete on uh, video codecs. Oh, wow. <laughs> Away in the weeds. Not even in the room. The yeah, how fragile do we think this is? It's pretty fragile. I I touched it with a toe and it started to crumble away. Yeah, uh, so I'm kind of worried about that. So this might oh, not be a good spot. Ship position. Oh. Um, so ROV position. Okay. Is on the left -hand panel. I don't think this one will work. I think it's going to just break. All right. Do you see? Yep. It would have been very convenient. Okay, so now we just want to make sure once we, as we crab over to avoid the bars that's sitting down there and the camera. So we kind of want to keep that in mind. <coughs> Cameras are off to the starboard side. Okay, half an hour is what we've got to find the perfect spot. Pardon? Yeah, then it's, then it's an hour of just getting it down and stuff, yeah. Yeah. All right, so can we come in on Fabio? Would it? Can we put a look at start looking at this for the RAS BPS, or will that kind of ruin your camera view? Our camera is looking that way for that. Like this way. Yeah. Okay. Um. But yeah, but it'll be a bit of, a bit on the f in the way, right? Because we're RAS is going to go right here, right? Rest, yeah. And you're looking yep. at this. So yeah. we can look for a spot here. Yeah. Okay, so over by the lasers? Over by this is kind of our okay. next goal. I took some shots. We're looking at the other side there. See anything shimmering here? Not really, huh? Maybe up top here. Uh, that's a good vent. Some, that's a full vent. Yeah, that's a full vent. See how things change from 2022? 20, 2020? Yeah. Kind of got colder then. Is this shimmering on this bold rock? Although I don't think, Fabio, can we use this rock? Oh, here. Down here? Yeah. Where's your camera and from there? We're just we're just behind it actually. That's what we're looking at with the camera. Oh so you don't want the Raz here. Okay, this is not a good spot. Okay. This is kinda what he's looking at with his camera. <laughs> <laughs> well the community is looking. There's but a then we're gonna have to Yeah, there's a community change. looking at it. It's not just Fabio. Just <laughs> Um, we have some time to play around, so we'll f we'll find something. How about is there any shimmering up here-ish? Looks like right on this little flange, maybe. Yeah. So just put it on top of the old pig. If you guys are all right, I'm gonna go uh, play around on the deck a bit. Yeah, I'm all right. Yeah. Okay.
I'll have a radio. Do you want to get a temp probe with this? Um, no, no, I, I don't think. I think this is kind of cramping that camera. Yeah, I think we should, should maybe go to, on the the left, to the left. Sorry. Left. Is that spot next to the old pig? Uh, yeah, not in a good spot. Or this next to the old pig? We can go look at that. I mean, it might just be too hot. Is the only thing. Is there anything down low? You see where the new pig float is around that area? Maybe there's something there. You kind of see those creatures over on this side. I wonder if that's something. Yeah, I think that's more a more oh, desirable yeah. position. Here. Under the... It does look like it's shimmering. It does. It's just a matter of um, what angle is that? So your stills camera is pretty close to the to the vent there. Yeah. So you might not be able to get in there. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know if that's feasible. Can you tell where the bars is from here? The little instrument? Directly underneath us. Okay. <laughs> and we don't want to land on it. Okay, so I don't know if we can get in there, if we can do this or not. I'm not sure. You you guys let me know. Let me back up and see. Oh. Watch out for that camera behind you. It's, it's off to the right. Yeah, it's to the right a bit. Okay. <coughs> can see it in this. And uh, there will be the on that green pad will be the RAS itself, so we won't be able to come in from that angle. Yeah, I can come over this way. Steve says those brown ones, long skinnies, are lower T, but probably still warm enough. So a little. Bike right there in front of us would be a perfect spot. Yeah, I think I think we gotta kind of see the integrity of this thing, because this would be this would be a perfect spot. Right. Kind of see where that, and maybe in, yeah, just in there. I can poke it with the pen temp probe and see if it. Yeah, I think that would probably be a fair reflection. Maybe can you take a temperature right in the middle of this right here? Let me know when I'm free to manipulate. Yeah, I want to see if I can just sit the toe underneath. Without caving the whole thing down. It's pretty strong in the middle. You're just pushing the the um, the flange pool. <laughs> You're splashing the heat out from below. Yeah. Good for nip. Yep, good for nip. I like this spot. This is a if this if this it's temperature a probes well, then this is our spot right here. Then. Just sit in the toe. Steve says right below you now. Yeah. So, Steve, just stand by. Watch where we're going to take this temperature. That's kind of where we're aiming to go. Okay, back in. One second. They were getting 3.6, but we really want to stick it in there. That's how we get the right one. Is 
Yep, where do you want it? Just right there is good. Okay, going in slow. Care about your pushing me off a bit? Um, yeah, it's six. Six point five. We can poke around on a few different spots there in like a foot diameter ish. That's kind of the size of the top hat. They'll be fit sitting on top of this. Over there where the probe right now is. is Here we're getting a 5.3, 5.2. I'm just reading it out so Shore can also hear. There, it's about five, seven, eight. Nine. <clears throat> How about up front here, kind of in this area, by the white? Look at this picture, Fabio. Nice. Oh, that's cool. On the new spot, we're getting 7.4. 9.4, 6, 10.3, 11, 11. And kind of further back by that white thing, maybe over here-ish. The mat. It looks so soft. Yeah, and you're, when you're taking this temperature, you're kind of poking in, and it's kind of where it would stop physically from rock, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. That's good for me. Over on that spot, Steve, we're looking at five degrees. I think the key would be this, and we kind of shimmy it as far back as we can so it doesn't scoop any of this front kind of boil over from the flange pool. Okay. But it looks pretty 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 calm. What is it underneath? Is there any way you can get that temperature? Underneath the flange pool? Yeah. Can you go, go on the right side? Or about Yeah, I can. Then you could uh, I don't know if we'll see if the temp probe can reach, but you might be able to stick it underneath there. If you rotate your wrist down now. Yeah. Yeah, like just right in front of the porch. If you stick it down, I might get it. Can I get a video zoom? Yeah, sounds good. Sounds good to me. Tilting down. This could be a really good spot. Just, just so close. I wonder if we can put it over top of that white. Yeah, that's like 18. Yeah, this is pretty hot. So that's just regular vent. That's pretty hot. 15. And I'm touching, touching the crust right there. Yeah. Yeah, okay. And then um, the um, that white, big white tower with all the fluff on it, what's... Um, okay, zoom wide. It's what's its temperature? Oh. Okay, uh, that's my problem, okay. Oh no, that's just you want. That's way too big. <laughs> we can't put it there. Uh, 
Can we pan up? Yep. So you want a, that white tallow thing? No, I don't. I don't think that's going to come into play. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's just uh, some kind of sea moss. Do you need anything else from the uh, tempo? No, I think we're good. Okay. What's that about it? The white things. What? What's it called? Bacterial mats. Oh, bacterial mats. Sea moss. That was good. Oh, right. Good guess. <laughs> Okay, so we're still, so we're hoping that this spot's not going to be high. Um, okay. I mean, if we can, sit back down, just, I know we kind of, um, if we back up out of this once you're ready, there's maybe one more spot that we should check out. Okay. We're just waiting anyways, so. Do we have a time estimate from Zach? Yeah, they said um, probably another uh, 20 minutes. Okay. This down here, down in there, in this area, like, okay. is that, what's just the general temperature of that? Because ambient temperature looks like it's 3.3. Almost down below the flange pool. Oh. I mean, yeah, this kind of this kind of stuff. Okay. Let me know when you're stable, and I'll grab the temp probe. Okay, no, it looks like water here is at 2.23 degrees ambient. So we're just looking to see if it heats up at all. Do you want me to poke away or poke yeah. around? Yeah, poke around. See if you can find something hotter than 2, de two degrees. I can back. Grab that probe. Okay, racking out. Mm. Uh, looks like no difference. No difference. <laughs> All right. Um. And if we... Looks like maybe there's some shimmer sure stuff over here. That's yeah, okay. Me. Yeah, there it's 2.5, 2.5, 2.5 right on the rock, 2.5. So that rock is slightly warmer than ambient, 2.6. Just a tad. <laughs> but I'm wondering if it's the stuff on the left kind of like shimmering over. Yeah. Well, we'll have to move for that. I'm at my limit. Yeah, yeah. We can come at it again if we have to get look a little to the left. What's just the white dirt is 2.5, huh? Something tells me it's a vent to the left heating everything up in this area. Well, that just got warm. Whoa. Yeah. 15. Yeah. I don't 15. see any gas, but the hot, but the rock's hot. How about just now? How about in this little low spot right there? What's the what's the Oh, well, maybe I can picture some shimmering now that I expect it. You can get a zoom. Yeah, zoom 17, 15 degrees. Oh. Wow. The ground is hotter than the rocks. 19. That's like the hottest spot we've oh, probed yet. 
my fat thumb just released the probe. Fabio, do you think that that qualifies as a decent spot then? Like just the ground Boop. where the cable, where the this by the monkey's fist there, that's 20 degrees. That's are we that's also low temperature? Are we also looking for um, like fauna? Are we just looking for temperature? Right, let me, I'll no, that didn't work. That'll be huh. funny. Just put the hat on the ground. Maybe you push it over or something? Yeah, I'll push it over. Well, it's delay upside oh, down. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Oh. Uh, the toolbox out of yeah, Bring the uh, porch out if you can. Yeah, that might pull it out. Okay. Good idea. Nope. Okay. I'm going to try something different. Uh, grab up a little bit on this thing. Uh. I'm going to stick this uh, probe in a hole. Alvin play right there. A little better. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. I think I might ever get, get it. I think you can get it. There you go. We need fluids. I'm gonna have to do a smear. I know what I gotta do. I don't know. Stowing this is gonna be fun. I think I need to stick it in the ground somewhere. Can I get a... Bungie's probably gonna pull oh, it right back. Oh, oh, you're bending it. Oh, I'm not yeah. trying to bend it. Here, wait, let me, um, yeah. Oh, hey, oh. there we go. You can grab it. Perfect. <laughs> self stowing. You just gotta flick it. You just gotta throw it in the right way. Okay, um, do we want to start making our way toward the tool basket? I think so. There's a little bit more we can do there in terms of cleanup as well, so we can we can go over there. Okay. And Stowed. Stowed. If the ROV can follow the white, blue, blue cable on the way back to the kind of the tool basket area, that'll be good too. Just mm -hmm. since we've moved it, we haven't surveyed it yet. Okay. Good. Okay. And when you get off this rock, I'll stow the arm the rest of the way. So instead of a freeze fail, that was a uh, grip lock release. Grip fail. Grip fail.
Alright, arm stowed. Okay. Tool basket is where? Uh, it's kind of off to your left is the way you want to go. Okay. You can kind of follow the cable um, connected to this guy, that one. Okay. It'll take you essentially to the tool basket. Might be able to explore some field of views behind the. Still can reach that other part of the tower. Okay, I'll if go. We, if we put on the left. Um, that well, we just don't want to. There's some stuff we have to do at the tool basket. It might be at the end. Still have to do. No, no, I'm. I'm <laughs> oh, are you talking to me? I'm just. Oh, sorry. You're talking to somewhere else. No, no, no. Go, <laughs> go for it. What's up? No, I think we're going to have to come down on the delta, maybe five meters. Okay, come down on wrench, five meters. Dan fixed it, I think. Yeah. Dan and Danny. So far, so good for the cable. Look in the opposite direction. I'm looking at the camera, not Herc. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wrong cable there. Bing, Herc, one of those cables is uh, blue and yellow, and one is blue, blue, white. That's what we're looking for the blue, blue, white. Blue, one. blue, white. Color coordinated. I love it. Oh, yeah, we had such a difficult time in the past <laughs> trying to distinguish all just a bunch of orange cables. Especially when you have to recover one and you don't know who's going under what. And no, I've had that experience in the past. Yeah, that's hook. Bridge nav. Can we move one five meters south, please? Thank you. So far, that cable lay is as good as the last one. Yeah, it looks to be right on right on top of it, basically. Yeah, right on top of that crab too. All right, that should be good. Okay. And then the IP sh or the um, tool basket should be on your left. Okay. Moving to the left. What's that guy? Is that a beacon? 
Oh. It looks like it. Yeah. Um, let's pick that up. Is this that spot <laughs> that we dropped the milk crate the other day? Yeah, they're pretty much the same spot. Yeah, this beacon shouldn't be here. <laughs> it might have been from that time. Beacon for Raz. Yeah, let's uh, pick that up. That's expensive. Well, it's for the Raz. Um, we'll just go put it closer to the tool basket. Let me know when you're uh, stable. Just kind of hold Crash it in your landing. manipulator. Okay. Actually, um, sorry, Danny. One second. Hold on there before you pick it up. Just read something in here. Put this out. Okay, <coughs> bring the arm up so you don't smash it into the ground. Beacon? Um, why is that there? Some crabs playing a prank or something? No, I think AJ, I think AJ put it there, but I don't know. It says he's got a note here that he put a beacon for the Raz there. Let's just leave it for now. Okay. Yeah, just in case. I don't know why we need a beacon for the Raz, but I wonder if he means it's probably a beacon for the sediment trap. But we'll leave it here. Okay, still on the arm. Am I following this oily cable? Um, it should just be on your left. Oh, okay. Somewhere over there, a little higher up, but very pretty close. Okay. Maybe more left, even. Yeah, more left. More left. Yeah. yeah. Nope. 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 <laughs> Something. There is a nav spot, but you can see in the corner of your screen on the top corner there. Like up here. Yep. I'm going to give you a little more leash. Are you good? Uh, okay, so we did drop a maybe gas. Maybe down a couple meters. Okay, I'll come down One of these couple. gas sites fell out, actually. Maybe we should put that one back and put the bungee on it. Okay. It's, uh... I don't know which corner. It's probably it's if it's not on this side, it's on the other side. Okay. And I believe you've taken the ra the you've taken them off of there before, with mm -hmm. the bungees and all yeah. that. Okay, yeah. Okay. So we'll just do that again. Bridge nav. Can we move two zero meters one nine five, please? Oh, I see it Thank right there. Yeah, I ripped that cable. A giant Alvin rate. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to knock that cable into the basket so yep. I have some room to work. And then so that it, yeah, that's a good idea. And then I'll put the uh, gas tight on that rail with the body of it facing in. in. Inside, yeah. Yeah. Let me know when you're ready. One second. Happy there. Okay. I'm coming out.
the scoop. Lovely. Looks like the handle's down in a yeah. crevice, but I'll try to pick it up. What's the best place to grab this? Oh uh, yeah. So can we get a zoom on it? Yeah. Can we get a zoom there? Video? I'll tilt down. Uh, with the I handle can, like that. The I can grab that uh, stainless flange that's not really attached to anything. Well, you can grab that or if you can get, try this putting your manipulator around this, the, these two these two guys, Yeah, if that makes sense. That's what I was uh, talking about. Okay. That seems like it would do it. Can I get, am I wide enough? I don't know if I'm wide enough. Pushing the vehicle a little bit, I think with your yeah. wrist. Yep, I'm just gonna grab one of them. <clears throat> I don't know if I can grab that. If you come in more like, like wrist, instead of straight down, you might be able to get it. Barely got a hold of that thing. All right, come wide video. Hold on, I'm gonna set it down and uh. There we go, much better grab. Yeah, good to come wide. Yeah, come wide. Right. So I'm gonna set it on the rail long, but then I'm going to rotate it after I can grab it again. Uh, yeah, just keep an eye on the nozzle. Might stick it in the grating that way. Nozzle going to be a problem. Yeah, it looks like it's heading straight into the. Might be okay as long as you can lift it back up without getting it caught. So it's, it's all good. Okay, zoom wide video. Okay, can I get a pan up a little bit? Oh, I think I can see it, okay. Just watch that plunger. That's it's right <laughs> underneath your nip. Yeah, yeah. I I can hop a little closer if you bring the arm back. Um, make it easier. I can bring. I've got a lot of throw. I just gotta use the wall, the different uh, joints. 
Yeah, just. No, nope. I need you to bring closer, I think. Yeah. All right, come, come back with an arm and I'll hop, hop a little closer. Okay. Let me know when you're stable. Well, that's interesting. I think the nozzle's hitting the bottom of the basket. Yep. I saw you wearing it like that the other day. I was like, oh, that doesn't Shouldn't. look comfortable. Better. Pardon? He was wearing this thing on his ear. Like Who was? Like that. I was? Yeah. I was. Oh, and it hurt? No. Ah. Was uncomfortable. Here, let, me, let me just focus here. I think you're just on the oily down there. You're kind of hooked into it, I think. See, yeah, it's over the... Yeah. Like, you can... Um, you're not happy with that? Well, if it's... Is it in there? It's sort of resting on it? That's fine, yeah. Uh, it's all the way down. I just need to put the bungee over it now. Yeah, so there's the two bungees. There's the one with the white there. And then a few steps. We take this guy. We'll come on around this piece, right? into that little ledge. Yeah. Then we have to take this one and put it back on. But there's also this bungee here that we have to put on. Gotcha. So I think the sequence is this one, then that one, then this one over top. Okay. And they all go kind of in this area. Gotcha. Okay. See that one's kind of looped under the yeah. gas right there? Yeah. Just so you don't pull it up. Yeah, it needs to go over top of the gas tank. Oh, 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 oh. Just while we position. You good? Good. As long as you're good. No, if anything, it was better. Please fail. So this needs to go over top of the gas tight? Yeah, kind of in, in between the plunger and this black, black handle. Reposition a little bit. 
this idea was pretty efficient when there were four gas sites in there, but we've every dive we've brought gas sites back, so you now it's a lot of effort for one. I think I ran over it, didn't I? Can't see, so I pull up the arm of it. Uh, you kind of want to be yeah. really in between there. There we go. Just over the end, right? The, you, you want that little nub at the bottom, yeah. Uh, over both of those, if you can. They should fit over both. Or not. <laughs> Sorry. Just over the end, then. Can you see it in bubble? Yeah, I can see it in bubble. Slow and steady. Bubble over yep, just a bit. That would be great. If I put it over here, then I'll put the top one over top of it or keep it yeah. in. That'll be fine. Do you want to do the inner one next? Yeah, I think I got it right here. And where's this one clamp on to? And then the door latch. See last. If you can, yeah, see if you can fit that over top of that stuff. Hopefully, the newly placed white one just kind of repositions itself. Update from the deck at all? How, long, how much more time they'll need? Okay. Um, should we think we have time to go to the sediment trap? That's the only thing. And move the new one, or not? It's that awkward timing. We can go clip the beacon onto the old one. Is that really because otherwise we're kind of sitting here. It was efficient. That move was strategic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just push, push it off the Just platform. Yeah. Push us off a little bit. Yeah. Then, um, Lynette, how far is the old sediment trap from here? Old sediment trap. Um, which target is that? Um, I don't know what it's called. It should be west of everything. Should be 2022 sediment trap or something. Should be about 40 meters west of the IP. Anything around there? Yeah, any of those say sediment trap? Yeah. Yeah, about 50 meters. Um, 
Okay, so I think what we could do to save ourselves some time down the line is go take that beacon that we found next to the IP and go hook it onto that sediment trap. Okay. Just because uh, we don't know how long the deck's going to be. We can always aboard that at any time. First step, go get the beacon. Yeah. Seem to lost you. Uh, and I can't find the IP. Which okay, we'll just take him out to have a wrap. Find a beacon. Find the beacon. There it is. Dan's gonna come and leave on of us. Oh, for dinner? Is he gonna forget again? <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you go first after uh, if he does. Okay. Uh, let me get settled here first. Yep, no problem. Standing by. A little teeter totter there. Catch and release. second. Yeah, I'm happy there. Bring that arm out. My favorite game. Crane game. That doesn't make any sense. All right, sorry. Um, okay. Danny? Yes. I know we're a lot closer than where we were before, but we might we're not gonna have time to go to the sediment trap, so maybe could you put it back down? <laughs> <laughs> uh, chuck it. We are no, getting close. <laughs> Third time's the charm. At least you got to pick it up this time. It's okay. I like picking up a thirty thousand dollar beacon and dropping it on the ground a few times. Those are only 12. Only 12? Yeah. Oh, oh, you know, they're not full ocean depth. Gotcha. These are only 3,000. All our beacons are only 3,000. Yeah. Uh, it's a big difference in price there. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Even though we have some 1,000 ones, and they're quite a bit cheaper, too. Oh. All right. Uh, go ahead. I'll go first. Yeah. Put it down, pick it up, put it down. It's okay. I'm going to go comment on that. I'm 
Nintendo. Yeah. Yeah, he he was helpful, particular for the markers. Zero Z bias, 100%. He's crazy, Jake. What are we doing? Whistling yeah. Dixie? Hi. Hi, Megan. So, um, we're waiting for sure. the deck. Did you guys deploy the, the new package? There. Uh, this beacon? Do you want one? Ready. Sure, can do. What are we doing with said beacon? Nothing. We were Nothing. going to pick it up and take it somewhere, but we do not have time. We got time. for Time for what? They just We were going to take it to a sediment trap, but the You're science welcome. just aborted that mission and decided that we do not have time to do that because deck is almost deployed. How far is the trap? Well, science? I think they said 50 meters away, and then the only people that have headphones back here is me and Ulrika. So... Oh, you want to put them by the larval traps? Where did we want to put that beacon? Well, the last thing he said before he walked out of the room was that it's not going to happen. Oh, okay. We're going to put them onto a sediment trap that we're going to hook on to a sediment trap that's coming up in the end of the dive. Oh, okay. Uh... Yeah, the sediment trap's kind of far away. South? Because we're, we're going uh, that it's way. It's west. Or maybe, that says trap deploy. Where am I? Trap Where land. Okay, it's Where? northwest. Uh, I'm going to go look for a... Uh, so we just uh, secured... The tool basket? We I'm going to go secured. look for a RAS landing zone. Okay. We're looking for a RAS landing zone now. What we just did was uh, secure the gas tight in the toolbox. Right there, I want to go look at the toolbox, make sure it's ready to come up, and look at the RAS, RAS landing action. Excellent. What do I got here? Do you want to land it near the toolbox? Yeah. Just X marks the spot. If you aim for the box, you'll miss it. <laughs> Dust cloud. Yeah, basically, I want to try and hit the box. Yeah, the toolbox is over near Atalanta. Yeah. Been to this neighborhood before. Oh, okay. Just, just let you know. It's my job to give you directions, whether you like it or not. <laughs> my job to give you grief, whether you like it or not. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good dynamic. Well, we secured the door, locked on a t gas tight. And we pick up all of our trash. Did you put another uh, Gladius in this thing, or are we happy with the... Jacob, can you zoom in just a bit to get rid of that really annoying misalignment? There you go, sorry about fix? that. You know, there is a Gladius right there. I could reach in and shove it in the hole, but... Looks pretty good. Remember, we did ratchet strap the floats down, so. I think the uh, the other ship has obviously been here. <coughs> oh, yeah, yeah, we were here. Look, so, oh, look, the other Gladius is pinned. Yeah, it's all good. Looks good and happy. What are those black mat things with the gray <sighs> Those were, see, see the gray mushrooms were meant to run a router cable through. Oh, okay. And we were meant to lay the black mats on top of a hot vent underneath the cable. <coughs> and uh, as the cable was going up over a rock, there was some hot vent action. I see. So we drug those up to the grotto and changed the mind at some point. 
No, we used some of them. I, I, we had a whole pile of them there, so. Ah. So uh, let me put the training wheels on here. You ever fly an ROV, Megan? No. Never? She wants to. <laughs> no, I don't get to fly. You've never flown an ROV? No. You've just watched millions of hours of ROV footage? Yep, pretty much. Okay, it's really easy. So I'm going to put some um, trim in so the ROV is not floating excessively. You can see yourself there. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll just see, I probably have a little too much trim in there, so I'm dialing the this knob here, which is our Z-Valis, so if I put that to like 25 somewhere, <coughs> um, there's no autos on, I'm not touching the sticks at all, uh, we're a little heavy, so I'm just going to play around with that number, so the ROV will be very in theory, slightly uh, positively buoyant. You can see from Danny's camera, but I'll just put this one here for a reference how high the porch is. So I'm going to back off a little bit more. So, wait, I do appear to be kind of heavy. So this one um, push forward and that thrust the ROV down to the seabed. Oh, it's forward is down. Yeah, forward is down. So if I push down on that, uh, the ROV will land. And Pull in here you can up. just land anywhere. Um, pulling back to go up is a bad habit. So it's kind of like tailgating. If you pull back, the <laughs> helicopter and the... Oh, it just makes a big puddle of big, mud. Uh, yeah, puddle of mud or dust storm. So if you're patient and the Z bias is dialed correctly, just let go of it like I am now and the ROV will float up. If you do pull back, um, it depends on how the ROV is ballasted. So I'm going to say that I don't know what we have on here, but I'm going to put the Z bias at zero, see what happens. So with all the sticks, nothing, our rate of ascent is, yeah, we're heavy. That's strange. We've what do you got in there? We've got two gas tights that we did not dive with. Oh, yeah, yeah we, we picked this up. But we're, so we're floating up at like a meter a minute, so perfect, almost mm -hmm. close to, so our, our vertical ascent rate's a meter a minute. So if you let go of the RV and don't touch any controls, it's floating up very gently, a meter a minute, right? So if you take a minute to get from here to here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's how far the ROV is floated up. That's so quick. <laughs> That's <laughs> happening really fast. So conversely, if you thrust forward now or down, you want to have like the same descent rate. If you go faster than a meter a minute, it's hard to stop that 5,000 pounds before it hits the bottom. So for example, if I full thrust down, it's going to, and then I let go, it's still going. And, but hopefully it's going to slow down by the time it hits. So the more jostling you see on the camera, the harder you've landed the ROV. Mm -hmm. If you landed as hard as you can, it's probably not hitting the rocks as hard as when we landed on deck. So right. Um, then this one, forward, backwards, lateral right, lateral left. And then the twisty bit will... Uh, Turn you? Yeah. But one thing you don't want to do, kind of like a boat, you want to steady as she goes. So. In this case, we're north of Atlanta. We're looking north, the tool basket's behind you. There's a little bit of cables up there for reference. So, fill your boots. So, so that that's it? That's it, <laughs> jump in, see what you do. loud over here. Oh. Oh, it's an octopus. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, it went under the eighth ROV. Oh, I don't know. Where are you, octopus? I thought it was a fish. It's an albinoid. Oh, I see it. Well, I don't see it. In bubble cam, it. it's right in front of the porch. Oh. Yeah. Okay. 
back up? Yeah. Bubble cam. Very gently. I can't believe you sit down and spot an octopus in less than five seconds. Yeah. Oh, look at that guy. He's so cute. So. Now you're going to have fun with a camera. Yeah, if you gently set her down there with that, like in the under the lasers, but halfway between the lasers and the. Yeah, anywhere actually. You can just. All right. So now if you, on your left hand, push forward a little more and more. Maybe a little more until you got, I don't know, 30%. Up there, 50%, and then you hit that button. That will lock the stick and actually also hit that one, auto heading. Okay. So now the ROV is pinned to the seabed. And you this could, controls the camera? Yeah, now you could go like drink coffee or move your camera around and then ask video to zoom in. Go for zoom. You'll have, to, zoom. Uh, you'll have to tilt up a bit. So oh, the, lasers, the lasers will appear at the top of the screen. Oh, Oh, cute he is. Oh, my goodness. Bye, Fred. Uh, Hello. <laughs> Zoom out. Whoa. <laughs> He's camera shy. <laughs> now you can uh, unclick your uh, stick lock button there. Well, he might land for you, but I would chase it. And oh, unclick your... Okay. Yeah. He just landed. And gently float up and bring your... ROV, yeah, center him up under the lasers again. So he probably got disturbed when you landed. He mm -hmm. could feel the vehicle hit. So if you gently land there, he'll be able to zoom in on him again. It could also get maybe a little bit closer. It's going to posture for you. <laughs> Um, turn your head to the right a little, twist, and yeah, there you Sarah go. Spawns. Now gently push forward with your left hand. Spawn just that we... Uh, let go with your left hand and then push forward again. Did you want to spawn? No, no, no. It's just that we have it here too. Now if you push all the way forward with your left hand and hit your stick lock. And then hit your auto head again. So you're done, now you're you done play with your camera again. Don't go into there that you lock. Go, an octopus. If you do this one, racks the camera in or out. It's already oh. out. Yeah. Okay. He's running away. Oh, you're gonna have to sneak up on him. <laughs> so sneaky. Yeah. So if you unlock, you can hold your leave your auto heading on, but if you unlock your stick lock and move up to where you see that crack in the camera to your left, that's looking straight down, you'll be able to look into the crack. I'd get a little closer, and uh, while you're getting closer, look down with this one. Okay. I'll make it easy for you. We'll get a little <laughs> reference on the front of the porch. So this will give me an idea how far away you are. It's like aliens are trying to attack me. Uh, Zoom out, well. video. Phone wide. So now you can see the front of the ROV. See how far away you are, because you got oh, little okay. things yeah, hanging out there. That gives you a better cool. reference. Yeah, yeah, land somewhere there, and you can get a. That's uh, less far. The camera has to zoom away. Oh, I bumped. <laughs> yeah, right when you hit, he he ran. Chase him. Right. Hey. Octopus hurting. Oh, that is so that cool. Is so cute. Oh, it's fantastic. This is so awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Best day ever. I can't believe you found an octopus. Maybe you should fly more often. That's a good distance to get some uh, swimming video. He's going to land again, it looks like. There's a yeah, lot of energy right there. Right underneath all those cables. Um, if you bring your head to, oh, I don't know, you pick where you're going to land. You can land on that Belmont, it's not going to hurt it. Yeah. Well, no, we prefer not to. I prefer not to do that. <laughs> well, it's better than landing on a oily. 
There are some big rocks in front of you now. Uh, so. yeah, I think he went under in that crack there. Uh, yeah. I think and there's a crab up there you can go look at. So octopus. there's uh, some vertical rocks in front of you. Uh-huh. You might find something interesting on those as well. And it's more fun to have vertical stuff, I find, because it's closer to you. You eventually have to take a... We'll eventually have to take a gas site from Hulk, which is just south of Dante, if we want to look at a vent. Oh, well, yeah. We have time to... I mean, mosey I don't around. see anyone on the deck. They're all having dinner, yeah. And, yeah, they still have to hook it up, get it over the side. I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't know how much time we have. That's, that's the thing. And it's a good time to just let Megan get familiar with the... ROV controls, unless you want to go do something. No, it would, all it would be is find a find a suitable spot and ream it. But I mean, I don't think that even helps us that much. Uh, so yeah, this is fine. We're kind of heavy with these gas tights right now. I don't mind ditching those, but oh, they, these haven't been sampled yet. Can we shoot them and then put them in the tool basket? No, tool basket will be gone by the time we have to shoot them. Really? Yeah, because um, it's going to take it hours to get down there. I know. The problem is um, we have to be sure on the vent we're going to use for uh, for the RAS BPS before we can take the sample, and at that point the tool basket will be gone. Oh, I see, I see. And I don't want to, if we fudge the or flop the one for the RAS, we want the second one as a backup. Roger. I wouldn't either after finding an <laughs> octopus. It's, it's golden. That octopus is awesome. The flight video might make it a cover of Science Fabio? Monthly. Anything you want pictures of for the science? Oh, a fish. Nothing. Yeah, fish. Fish herding is a you great got good stuff this time. Any exploration on animals? So underneath you, if you look at that camera right now, way to the That's left all over there. All right. Danny, can you put uh, Megan's bubble camera back up there? What happened? Oh, I, I did that. Sorry, I'll do it. I'll do it. Uh, um, if you look go. at Danny's camera, you're on top of a giant rock pile right now. Yeah. So you oh, can't, okay. You can't that go helps. Down. I was like, I just want to see you, fish. And you would have to maybe come around to your right. And you're also probably getting... Uh, so when you get... 20, 30 meters from Herc, it'll start pulling I me. I mean, sorry, from Atlanta, from Herc. Yeah, it'll start pulling on your tail, which makes the dog angry. I could come down a little, but I'm pretty happy at 30 meters. Yeah, I'm pretty happy at 30 meters, too. So, Megan, I'll have to go back down here somewhere. You started right here, and you've drifted. Your backup camera is going to give you some hints here. Yeah. So fly forward, Megan. Push this one that mm -hmm. way. We'll get you back out into the flat zone there. You could, uh, I know it's not very sciencey, but you could follow that green cable for a minute. I don't get you where you need to go. Where does that green cable even go? Where does that cable go? With uh, vehicle, you, I probably the, the least used command I have is the, to change my heading. I'll, I'll lateral left or right. Okay. I'll, I'll only change my heading if I'm coming around something or I need to, you know. No, I, I might go grab dinner right now. <laughs> Do you want to keep watching this? I can turn and burn. Yeah. As long as, I mean, I kind of want to watch her, but as long as someone. <laughs> go eat, Danny. No, I gotta go eat. What's this thing? No idea. Probably a very sensitive scientific instrument we don't want to get anywhere near. I think. It was so cool, Jake.
right? We found something, something exciting. Looks like Ooh, an a cliff ADCP. to jump off of. Cliffs are cool. But I might be wrong. Are we just hanging out, waiting on deck? Let's hey. find some fish. Yeah, Megan. That's great. We're hmm? just playing. Is let's, there a fish? Let's let's look for some around here. The scientists have taken over the ROV shack. So <laughs> <laughs> they're hunting for fish. Megan spotted an octopus. Nice. Blew that for a while. I saw a crab and a fish. More elven weights. Elven weights and a. Elven weights and some sort of weird hockey yeah. stick. That's a gladius, one of the things we used to stab through the grating. Oh, okay. Science trash. Or tire Science wraps. trash. We should actually make notes of that. There's another one. Look at uh, all these pillow lavas. I think I'll probably find some interesting critters on that rock, I'll bet. A little bit of sponge. You can uh, maybe come up a touch on Atlanta, Jake, and look down for That's a fish. No? What's this thing? Let's, let's look at it. Greeting. Oh, the white. Like oh, can thing. we zoom in? That white thing. It looks uh, could be glass beads or a sandbag. Oh uh, yeah. Or a kaburosaurus coming out of the rock. Oh yeah. Yeah, it looks like glass beads. Snail. What is that sticking out on the front of the porch, Jake? I can't quite make it out. On the front of the porch? That white thing. Back to where we started. Our tour. What camera are you looking at? The uh, Herxus. The elevator. That is the... I don't know. Look at it with bubble. Maybe some crabs on this elevator that we might want to. Yeah, the crabs seem to light the basket. Oh, I know what it is. It's something in the bio box. Never mind. So that's not on the front of your porch. That what you see in your camera right there is oh, okay. stuff in the bio box. In the box that's sticking out. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Sorry you're not a true reference, but And if you hit, yeah, that's a good reference for us. You can see your porch. Uh -huh. There was a crab around here somewhere. What else we got around here? Got our seismometer thing. I think we have uh, some bean bags of convenience there. They're all gathered so up. So many bags. There's a crab. Oh, yeah. Quick hand off a video, two seconds. There he is. A spider crab, let's zoom in on it. Let's see if we can get some epibionts. So I would, uh, to avoid any of the cables, come to your left and look right. And it's downhill there, so you'll, yeah, other way. Lateral left and look right. Heading right. You get a better shot uphill. But <coughs> Hang on a sec. Let, let go for a second. Mm -hmm. Go. 
So herquilateral, but it's real slow. So your lateral and left, and then bringing your head right. See how it's kind of uphill there? You come around and look at the crab from the front. And you see that pillow lava in front? If you watch mm -hmm. for that in your left camera there and kind of nudge your porch into that, you'll have a beautiful zoom. You'll be able to see these little mouth pieces working. Whatever you call those. Maybe a little closer. Oh. Oh. See, your porch now is sneaking up on that. So that looking down is that right there. Yeah, somewhere in there. Be a, and that kind of nestles the porch down in that little good landing spot. going to gross me out. I might have to leave the room. <laughs> <laughs> it's dinner. You know, their Zoom little in? mouthpieces are so like predator. I think they're Man weird. Mandibles? Like is that what it's called? I don't know. Or is that a... Now you can ask... Uh, uh, maxillipeds. Maxillipeds. You can, you yeah. can ask Mouth video feet. to zoom in when you're ready. Zoom in video? Then you'll probably have to tilt up a little. Cause Look at its cute little face. You love it. You guys want me to go all the way? Tilt up a little. Yeah, let's go all the way. And I want to get the gross out shot. <laughs> Predator, the movie. You know, that's where that came from, right? So you can see its little antenna. Just what is he flicking around there? Giving us the, the eyes. Around. I think it came from a deep sea amphipod, right? I don't like know, yeah, one I don't of those crazy looking. Something like that. Oh, yeah, and there's a um, skeleton shrimp, a caprellid amphipod on one of the legs, the front kelopids. Mm. That's kind of neat. Cool, thanks. So does the little amphipod stay on his leg all the time, or does he move I don't around? know. They usually hang out um, on things, and uh, I don't know. That's how they do their thing. Hmm. Nice to see you, Crab. Nice landing in Zoom. Thanks, video. You're welcome. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> they seem to come around and they think we're at dinner bell or something. There's just so many crabs around here. That's spider crab, by the way. Macro Raygonia macrochira. So that's the instrument platform up on your right. We'll oh, those are the larval traps up there. Yeah, we want to stay clear of all that mess. It's a make work situation there. Um, you can probably turn uh, turn left and head back towards Atlanta, or head south. Would be uh, so to do that. Just give her a twist there. Okay. Give him a twist, Hercules. Hercules a twist. Well, that's managing our tether turns there. And point three. When yeah. I sat down, it was negative point two. Yeah. So if you come around to south and mosey on that way, we haven't been there yet, so it would be like exploration. At least on this dive, or these nav trails. It brings some understanding as to uh, why we fly so high sometimes. Yeah, and the sweet spot is about 1.8 to 1.6 meters. You'll see the, mm -hmm. the video really. Um, you'll see the. For me, I call it popping. You know, the detail. I can suddenly see things I couldn't see from two and a half meters. There's a mysid shrimp.
crab guarding the cable. Happy crab. Same <laughs> one. Yeah. I have come back around to your east now. You can turn right and go south. Other right. There's our toolbox. Right. There's some gotchas in here, obviously. Oh, yeah. So Don't want to. Turn, uh, go to the right of that cable and head out that way. Okay. Be able to play around. So you, in this case, because the current, you have to spin. So the twisty bit. And while you're doing that, you can press that auto head button button and it will pick it'll stay on whatever compass setting you've picked there was something off to the right there I saw I don't know what it was another crab hmm. so many of them So because I have the auto heading on it, it's bringing me back to my original heading? No. Or if you, like for example, if you twist now, if you watch the little yellow dot. Mm -hmm. So if I twist and see the vehicle, so see where the yellow dot is? So if I let go now, it'll Oh, grab. and then it just stays there. Okay. Well, it'll pass and come back. Yeah. So as soon as I let go, auto heading engages again. So I while see. you're twisting. So you can force it to be a different heading. Yeah. It usually looks... Uh, kind of ugly in the video so as a general rule if I'm changing my heading or mm -hmm. my altitude and I have either auto heading or auto altitude on I'll turn them off first and then I'll adjust and then I'll re-engage them otherwise you're fighting and uh, with this particular system adjusting your auto altitude you can inadvertently set your set point below what the seabed is mm -hmm. So, yeah, if I have either auto engaged, I try not to use that function as a general rule. Well, that's probably uh, a habit for most vehicles they operate. It's if you have the auto on, it's, you know, it's kind of like your car, right? You don't often change your speed if you have your, mm -hmm. your uh, cruise control set while you're cruising down the highway. Are the crabs territorial, or do they just kind of... These crabs? They're just crabs? I don't know. I mean, they seem to be pretty territorial. They are. A lot of crustaceans are. It's a little weight thing on there, rock there. A little sea star there, you could do a zoom in. We don't have a lot of all the small fauna here. We don't have a good video catalog actually because we're always doing the cabling, <laughs> plugging, <laughs> so we don't have much time to do this. What we're doing actually would be nice to oh, yeah. zoom in on this ophiuroids, maybe on that sea star there, right by the, the lasers. I guess I can't go any further that direction. You can, but you can zoom from here. You got yeah. a nice stable. Yeah, go for zoom. Yeah. Let's see this uh, squat lobster. Oh, it's squat lobster. It's like a, a munidopsis. So, you notice when when um, 
Pete zooms in, how the lasers go towards the top of the picture. Yeah. So one of the things we do is called a laser zoom. So Pete zooms in just a little bit more till the lasers are just at the top of the picture, and that gives the scientist a reference. Okay. How big and it's not right on directly on top of the animal. Well, you saw as he zooms in, and the lasers go like this mm -hmm. on that. So when you're squaring yourself up for a landing, especially a close one, if you put whatever the you're squaring on, yeah, a bit above them. Exactly. I see. So, and then I find this zoom. I can, you know, it's not like totally looking through a straw, but depending on how close you are. And then we'll usually pause here, and now somebody in the back row will take a, a still. And then you can do the full, the full zoom. Cool. To get the detail. All right, let's zoom out. But if you wanted to get a super zoom of him, you would <coughs> land with that guy in that camera. Mm-hmm. Because that means it's really close. Change plans. And then you get that, you know, zoom where you can. I need to eat. <clears throat> okay, we've got a small change of plans. Small change of plans. We're going to um, try and use a little daylight and recover the sediment trap. So that's uh, clip the beacon. Clip the beacon, back to the beacon. <laughs> I knew that was coming. Back to the beacon. <laughs> We're not letting that go. And then we'll um, clip All it to right. the sediment trap. And yeah, then when Jake everyone's ready, we can jump release in it. There. All right. Jake knows where the beacon is. I have no clue. <laughs> uh, Jake's been there twice already. Trying to pick it up. Okay, so the beacon is to the right of here? Um, it's or it's to the left? Closer by the instrument platform. Yeah, I remember, I remember now where we are. Yeah. So when is that ROV trap there, that RAS PPS handle? Or that when pig, is it pig handle? Oh, that one? Yeah. Can, <laughs> we, can we... Do you want to recover that? We do you want to recover that? It's just if we can find a spot in the tool basket, uh, yeah. we couldn't really think yep. of anything anyway, so... I wouldn't mind getting it out of there now because it's going to be an issue when, uh, you know, we're picking up the tool basket. Okay, if you can chuck it in there. Oh, we'll, we'll have time while we're lowering the basket. Never okay. mind. Yeah. All right. At some point, the plan is to recover Beacon. it, though. Perfect. Roger. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm out. I'm going to give you Danny, okay? All right. Um, just a message from Shore. It from Shore wants to thank the ROV crew for identifying organisms. <laughs> It yep. was our pleasure. Thank you for the opportunity to identify organisms. Attempt number four.
Ready when you are. Good times to charm. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> So back to work, no more safari. <laughs> Beacon acquired. No, seven. Oop. Please fail. Cinnamon trap that way. West. Well, that's pretty good. Okay. May have to do a small move. I don't think I can. Yeah. Got it? Yeah. The freeze button's getting more finicky. Yeah, we're going to have to replace that. Or swap out the master. <laughs> I think I pushed it and lightened it up, but it didn't stick. If you want, I can tuck that in closer. That's alright. Okay. Keep it in eyesight. Well, you guys look like you were having fun. Yeah, Megan was flying great. Yeah, that's the kind of chain I was expecting to go find. <laughs> yeah. yeah, big links. <laughs> that was a little on the heavy side, though. I don't know why, but here we are. I mean, it only took three times to, uh, you know, <laughs> pick it up, put it down, pick it up, put it down. It was, you know, it was practice. <laughs> yeah, but it was something in the back of my mind that there's something about this beacon. Uh, we've landed there a couple times now. Oh, no. Yeah. It's like you keep coming back. Okay, we, we're looking for a sonar target as well, probably 20 meters off the bottom. Okay. In that range, so kind of approach with caution. 20 meters off the bottom, approach with caution. Steady as she goes. Do you want a wider uh, range on this seeking? Are you good with that? I'm good with that. Good with this. Good oh, Mesotech. Yeah, Steve, if you're watching, we just discussed the hole drilling in the top hat. Uh, just check the messages. There's a lot of buoyancy on this. Huh. Does, you know how like a, a glass sphere would make a really good sonar target? Uh -huh. would, would a syntactic foam sphere do the same? It yeah. depends. It depends on the paint. 
paint and the material. Some, because some, I know some foams can be like acoustically transparent, like mm -hmm. they're designed to be. So most, if they're, most of them aren't though. Really? Yeah. So it depends on the paint. That's crazy. I thought always thought it was like the air inside reflecting it, but it's the surface. <laughs> Doesn't really matter what's inside. It does matter. It's it's a little bit of both. But but if you put a hard shell on the outside, it's a surface that won't it won't penetrate. But oh, huh. looks like we have something in the Mesotech coming up on our uh, north northwest. Where's the us? It's really tough with these offsets to really figure out. There, is that something in the column? Nope, never mind. Sorry. The smudge. Uh. <laughs> Target is off to the left over here. Right on top of the uh, ping. Is that including the offset, the 20 meters or 30 meters that we've been seeing to the south? 30 meters to the south of here? Okay. Ought to be right behind us. <laughs> Just turn around. Oh, there it is. How far off bottom is this thing? About 20 meters. Okay, so we're uh, about like six. Mm. I see a sonar target. Yeah. Straight ahead. Straight ahead. Oh, lost it. Oh, to the right. Final look and at Atlanta's bird's eye view, see if we see anything. Sometimes we're smart and we put the DOT tape, that that reflective stuff on there. But I don't know if the old version had that. Oh, you said 20 meters off bottom, right? Yeah. Okay, I'll come up. I have this heading locked in. Okay, I'm gonna haul in five meters. I'll just follow you up. Yep. There it is. Oh yeah, you're approaching a target, yeah. Oh, there it is. There's something. You, think you can see a swivel or something yep. in there. I see Looks it. like it's up. Higher. Oh, looks good. <coughs> well, there's a sediment trap. Interesting. I don't I can't see that. What's on top? Oh, a full flag. Oh. Flag. Cool. So we want we can clip the beacon anywhere on there, but if we want to have a look at the whole the whole array pretty first, just to see okay. if there's anything to be concerned about. There's nothing coming off the top of it. It's all no, on the that's bottom. it. That's it. Yeah, those floats are like top of the cones, like the highest point, except for the. 
So I'd like to have a look at that lifting harness, that floaty rope at the top, just to see if that's intact for recovery. Roger. Do you want maybe a 10 meter ship move west? Um, <laughs> I don't know, it's directly over top of this thing. I think we're okay right here. You're okay? Yeah. All right. Oh no, I guess we're not. <laughs> Trying to keep it kind of far away, but still let you yeah. work. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so I'm going to have to set this on our porch and grab the actual hook. Three lines going there. Okay, that looks good. It looks like uh, it should. Okay. Next step is um, clip the beacon on clip anywhere. The beacon yeah. anywhere. Yep. Anywhere on there. Yeah. So, if you can back up and we'll pull the porch out, I'll set this thing down, and I'll grab the uh, the car carabiner. Okay. Lynette, can we, Lynette, can we tra um, start tracking that beacon? Yeah, do we know what number it is? Uh, we might have to look. Uh, it's, we did at some point, but it's the first beacon that went down with a t sediment or with a tool basket. Mm. But it'll be written on there somewhere. Nope, wrong one. Oh, wrong one. Hopefully we see it as they're kind of fiddling with it. <clears throat> okay, coming live. It still gets me. Megan made notes of the beacons or rided so we can I see always 2400. ask them. Uh, what's that? I see a number that says 2400 on it. Uh, no, it should be it should be very obvious, very big. It's kind of at the top. There it is. Oh, there. Uh, I don't think that's it either. There's another one on just to the clockwise, just on the other side that we can't see. There should be a... No. Serial number. <laughs> Stock code. Housing rating. Uh, I thought the number is a little more simple than that. Lynette, is that the number you need? The um, That big one? The 2109? 2109. 2409? 2409 sounds correct. Yeah, cool. Okay. Okay, let me get this thing into a position. I'll try not to drop this yeah, thing. Where'd you, see, where'd you see the 2409? <laughs> it's just on the upper, other side, right? Um, I have other views. Oh, th I was like, how are you getting that from 00GF? Zero zero <laughs> like, you know your it's codes. that good. Okay, yeah, that's cheater. <laughs> Trying to look, use my eyes to see around the thing. Use the tools I have available. Okay. Can't cheat if it works. <laughs> well, folks are just curious about the beacon itself, and <clears throat> it's just one of the tools that that we have to, um, when we deploy instrumentation, we can put the beacons on, track it, and then recover instrumentation. So that's yeah. exactly what we're doing. It's an acoustic positioning beacon. Yeah. Ultra short, low base, uh, short baseline, USBL. Okay, I think with this uh, movement here, we can come in and- uh, Got a good grip there? You want to get a better? Uh, I can get a better grip. Yeah, I don't want to drop that thing. Now let me use my uh, Alvin Ray uh, deployment uh, tool. I'll smear this the guy. Yeah, it's just a tip. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna like. Poke it in there. Poke it in the hole, I think.
Nope. Oh. Ah, actually, yeah, it works. That works very well. Oh, please fail. Can you punch in? Uh. Well, we gotta bump that thing off of there. Uh, for yeah, you. I don't want to bump okay, it off. Okay, no problem. I can get it. I can maybe portion a little bit. Here, hold that for a second. Yep, go ahead. All right. That's grabbable. There you go. That's a good, good grip. Much better. <coughs> and I've got this motion, which I really love. Okay, I'm gonna leave this guy on the porch until uh, yep. until we get up there. So, what are you thinking? Uh, one of those shackles? Uh, anywhere on the frame that that'll fit. Oh, Either the okay. Round tubes yeah, or the round base tubes. or anything. Okay. Doesn't have to be at the top. Okay. What do you think will be the easiest down here? Uh, I would. Do right above that D2500. Uh, right. Yeah, maybe higher up so that okay. we don't have to try and fish it out when it gets on deck. Yep. Not the one with the beacons on it, but the one next to it would be ideal. This one here. Yeah. Really like to just get that shackle, but I think I'm trying to challenge myself. I mean, not neededly. No need to. You can do it while I'm flying it? Yeah, I can do this. Try and hold it steady. Nice. Okay, we got latch. I'm happy. Latched. You got latched? Yeah, right. visual. Visual, yeah. Latch. Yeah, maybe just make sure you confirm, but it sure looks like you did it. I'm latched. Okay. Perfect. Um, okay, can we have a quick look at those samples too? Just, uh, just to just get an idea what's in there in those bottles. 